Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're taking a peek at Blue Cat's Patchwork. Now I know this is one of those plugins you don't realize you kind of want to use until it's been shown to you. So why would you want to use this thing? Well, the first one is, is if your DAW doesn't let you load VSTs, you can load this and then load VSTs in it. So it's a workaround and it's very nice, very efficient. Never had a problem with it. Now, the main reason you're gonna want this is because when you load up inserts, oftentimes you end up sending things to additional buses and it just gets a little messy. And because of the extra steps it takes, we're not likely to make those kinds of moves or not as likely. And here, you're much more likely to do it because you load it up and immediately you have a serial chain. So this is like if your channel strip was just what it was and you just had insert after insert in serial but then it sends everything after this to this parallel chain area. So now you've been encouraged to sort of toss parallel chains onto that. And then after this, it goes out another serial uh, bus, which is your, your post bus. And you have gain controls on both sides as well as a pre and post uh, gain control. So you can do your levels all the way across. Now, you might be saying three isn't very much, well, you know, you can load up to eight. So if you want to load eight, that's fine. Now you might be saying eight isn't very much if, if you're crazy. I have seen people run out of, eight, eight's not enough, okay, I've seen it. So in that case, you can actually come in here and you can load another one inside itself. And then, uh, there you go. Now you've got eight more. <laughs> and if you want to keep going, you can. Uh, that's a little overkill. Maybe don't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that and go back to three, because all I'm using is three in this example. Now, you saw that this is also true for the rows. We can actually, or not rows, for the columns. So we can have eight columns and things, this can get quite ridiculous. Now, you can load in synths as well. This is very interesting to me at first, because I thought of it almost exclusively with effects. But you can actually load in synths, and with the synths, you can have like four or five synths all playing it so you can have this crazy patch essentially. You can even load up MIDI generators and have them send the MIDI and you can create this really comprehensive patch that you can bring across projects. So that's a really cool way of using it too. I'll show that off at the end. Let's go ahead and hear it in action. If you are unaware, when you buy this plugin, you actually get a bunch of other plugins that come with it. They are the same set, I believe, that comes with the seven mix, if you have the seven mix. Uh, plugin, which is the multi-band solution, right? Because this is single band processing here. So if you come in, you get all of these plugins, which are the ones I'm going to be showing off. But you can, of course, load your own, like I said earlier, VST, VST3. You just click load VST and find your VST and put it in there. You're good to go. So I have these string, sound, string sounds. I'm going to bypass everything. And it's this nice chord progression. Sounds like this. And then there's a second phrase, which is, this is kind of a slower thing, so I'm not going to play the second phrase. So first up, I was listening to this, wrote out the chords, figured it out, and I'm like, okay, now I want some reverb for these nice spaces. So I toss some reverb, I do quite a bit of gain here, just because I want to push the levels up, so I'm going to do that through the reverb. And this is a parallel bus, so there will be more to come, so this is what we have now. Okay, cool, very nice. So now what I wanna do is it's kind of a little brittle for what I'm sort of going for. So I'm going to try and smother it out, not necessarily kill the color, but just, you know, toss a little bit of whoop cream on that ice cream. So I'm gonna use a comb filter for this. I do a, a cut here and then a boost here. It was just one of those things that in the moment, I wound up going, hey, I'd like this louder. And instead of turning this up, I turn that up. Gain staging, sue me. So, oh, and I haven't shown you the interfaces. So here's the interface. It's very nice. It's just a reverb. And this is the reverb, I mean, the, the comb filter. A very simple control. Uh, this one, you might consider modulating, but I left it kind of where it is and just sort of looked out for a sweet spot. Since it's a parallel bus, and I'm going to dial it in, I left a mix at 100%. 
So we're gonna just turn that guy on and it turns into this. So you see quite a bit smoother. The whipped cream is kind of nice, right? Now, you might have noticed this didn't get a lot louder. And you would have, I would have expected it to get quite a bit louder because even though I'm cutting and boosting a little bit here, so it's basically a small cut, it's still a whole separate butt. So you figure it should be getting louder. That is due to the average or sum option here. Sort of like a gain compensation, they call theirs average. And it just averages them so that no one process will be significantly louder. And you can of course turn this off if maybe you do have a process that you want to be significantly louder. If you're doing something with synths, this can be the case. Uh, I, but for mixing, this average option is really nice. So I took that. And now the last thing I'm gonna do is I wanted to do a little bit of mid side. And so I have a mid side encoder. And what this does is when you slap it on, it makes channel one the mid and channel two the side. So I wanted to add an echo to the side. So what I went in is I came in and here's the echo plugin. And if you actually click on the name, you get all these extra uh, fancy options. We're gonna go down to audio IO and we're gonna come in here and we actually have the option to go for like independent channels. So I said, hey, one input, one output and set it to channel two for side. And so that's, what, that's what's up. And now I wanna point out if there's something you wanna do in here as far as routing goes, it's probably possible. I mean, I haven't checked it extensively, but there are options galore, just tons and tons of additional menus with all the options you could possibly want. So there's probably somewhere in there. Anyways, I set it to channel two and then I go out a, a mid side decoder and then that goes out. So we have that on now. And because of the averaging, this one actually has quite a bit of sway in the way this sort of goes down, but check it out. So I'm gonna just here play a little bit with everything off. Okay. So very nice. So there's a quick taste of it. Now you might have noticed there are quite a few extra channels here. The This supports multi-band, or not multi-band, multi-channel stuff. There's a lot of options there. I'm not gonna dive into those. You can check them out if those are of interest to you. Uh, but yeah, very interesting, very featured. I really quick just want to show you the also the ability to work with synths with this. So I'm going to close this and close this. And we're going to head over to a synth patch. So you see there's a synth version here. So I have a synth version and I have an instance of a synthesizer called Harmer loaded up. It's really weird to see it not in a vectoral format now. Um, and then I also, whoa, where'd you go? Now this is something that I've noticed occasionally. When you close things, it will close out the whole window. It didn't actually close it, but it like makes it look like it was closed. So just to be aware, you can actually open all the windows. There's actually a fancy window here. Open all the windows and we can see what we have open. And then you can actually close them all as well with their window. So I loaded up two synths, a synth called Synth1, it's a free one, and a synth called Homer. And then I also loaded up the verb. I really like the verb in there. It's really it's really a simple verb, but I, I like its sound. So if I play it, Synth1 is playing sine waves. And I should probably gain that down a bit. And a Harmer, despite it being turned down so much, is still pretty dang loud. It's just a little pluck sound. Kind of surprising how loud it still is. And so I wanted to play those together as a layer, just as a simple demonstration. Going to the low range. So there we get the pluck sound of Harmer coming through a bit more. So it's 
It's sort of a useful texture still. And that is Blue Cat's patchwork. It's definitely one to toss on because nothing is more frustrating, at least to me, especially on your master bus. I've run into this more than I would like to admit where you've got a mix and you've got it pretty much where you want it, but you want to add one more plugin just to see, you know, what would that plugin bring to the table? And then you realize you're out of inserts and you can't really send the master to another channel, at least not in FL. And this is a solution to that problem. If you have any questions, let me know, subscribe, hit the bell icon and have a blessed day. Yeah.